Good evening. My name is Sam V. Heal. There is a hole in my heart since my beloved Jackie was taken from me. This is her story. There were two things that Jackie loved to do every day. One was to go to the gym and tweet out Bible verses and prayers to her friends. On November 19th, the tweet stopped. That day started out like any other day. She left for the gym early in the morning. I heard the garage door open. Seconds later, I heard the car horn. I went outside to see if she had forgotten something. What I saw was a Jeep blocking her car in the driveway. I noticed the bullet hole in Jackie's window. I saw someone jumping into the Jeep and speeding away. Jackie had just been shot and killed in cold blood. We think this was a carjacking gone wrong, very wrong. Every time I open the garage door or stand in the driveway, I hear that horn. I see her slumped in the seat. Where, when I go to bed at night, that sound and image hunt me. That's my life sentence. It's a sentence being served by too many families left behind by senseless killings. Albuquerque, where I live, is one of the most violent cities in the country. Fewer than 50% of homicides are solved. It is a sad irony that Jackie immigrated to the U.S. for a better life than her native Colombia, only to be gunned down in her own driveway. For eight months, there were no arrests, no leads in connection with Jackie's murder. The Albuquerque police were overwhelmed. They needed help. Help arrived when President Trump launched Operation Legend in July of this year. Almost immediately, the FBI took over Jackie's case in a matter of days, they arrested four people. The fifth suspect killer was arrested in Texas on unrelated charges. He is an illegal immigrant with a long criminal record. He had been deported in September and had come back in October to terrorize our community. I am extremely grateful to President Trump and the FBI for their efforts to deliver justice for Jackie and all the other innocent victims of violent crime. I am honored to support the president because he is supporting us. I know he will never stop fighting for justice, for law and order, for peace, security in, in our communities.